before this video starts, you want these 87% of people, they're not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, what are you doing? Go down below, hit that subscribe button, then hit on the notification bell, so that when I upload, it gets notified to you, and also like this video so it gets shared around to more people and it gets recommended for you more often, and comment down below because I love reading comments and I'll respond to every single one. Now let's get straight into the video. What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're back with another Bulldogs coach career. You guys have been loving these videos so far. I'm um, sorry if you not if you want some different AFL content, but since there's the AFL offseason, nothing's really going on in the AFL world right now. This is just a quiet period. I thought we could bring in some AFL coach career until some news happens. Or, and then we can actually get some more AFL content in different varieties. But for now, we are continuing with this Bulldogs coach career. And, um, yeah, uh, let's get into the injury report because there is a huge injury problem. As you see here, Jason Johannesson has gone down with seven weeks with a face fracture. As you did see, he did get injured last game, which is very sad. So now this is our injury list. We've seems like we've had three people on our injury list all season. Uh, so let's see what happens in the team selection. When our team selection, I've moved Josh Dunkley back to the forward line. But if you're wondering who's coming in, as requested by this bloke on the screen, he requested to bring in Buku Kamis into the team. So if you want your player from the Bulldogs into this team, or you want to change something about this team, comment down below and I'll make sure to include it uh, in the next video. So this is who comes in, but if you're wondering who went out, uh, apart from Jason Johannesson, it was the man, um, Zane Cordy. And I put Josh Shackey at center half back because I tried Josh Bruce here earlier on in the season before he got injured and he was having an absolutely amazing season. So I was thinking maybe if I, trust, if I put Josh Shackey back to center half back for a few games, we can see what he can do. And maybe he can be a, a star like Josh Bruce was. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first game of the year at Optus Stadium. Buku Kamis gets his first touch in AFL. Sends it. Oh. Buku Kamis. Buku. Buku Kamis. Oh my god, I thought he just kicked a goal. Oh no, Trav Collier is absolutely outbodied. Hayden Frozer, who's been a very good defender for us. He was out for a few games with a concussion. But Trav Collier can line up the first goal for Fremantle. Buku Kamas! Five chasing him down. Buku Kamas can run into an open goal. He kicks his first goal at AFL. Let's go, Buku Kamas! Kicks it forward. Matt Tavner's in the square all by himself. And just before the, uh, the siren sounds, Matt Tavner. He did his first goal of the game. And there he goes. And they take a six point lead. Yeah, so right now, Buku Kamis is our best player on the ground. Our first game player that we, we got requested to come in is our best player on the ground. I actually can't believe he's getting played on by Nat Fife and he's actually putting on a clinic in the middle of the ground. Glad I bring him in so far. But hopefully, our other team gets inspiration by. How Buku Kamis is playing in his first game of AFL. So let's get into the second quarter and see if we can get this game back on our terms. It's Hannon. He's a forward. Eagle Hagen. Eagle Hagen. Eagle Hagen can kick another goal. His first goal of the game. Oh, Josh Shackey. Has to run, Josh Shackey. Tries to kick it forward. It's smashed forward. Who's there? There's no one around. Andrew Brayshaw can just run to an open goal. What's our defense doing there? Josh Shackey, not too great. Buku Kamis. Buku Kamis kicks his second goal of the game. Big Buku. Trelaw bursts out of the, the stoppage. He might go from 50. Goes in over the top. And he kicks a snag. We take the first lead of the game. Trelaw. McLean. Looking at the top. Bailey Smith. Eagle Hagen. Lloyd. Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. He kicked a snag. Oh my god. Buku Kamis. From 50. Buku Kamis. He's third goal of the game. Buku's kicked three. Buku Kamis, he's star. 
Oh my god, I actually can't believe what I'm seeing. Fuku Kamas has the most touches on the ground. He's kicked three goals. Can you believe this? I'm actually in disbelief. When I thought I'd bring Buku Kamas, I wasn't sure about putting him straight in the guts with his first game of AFL. But he's kicked three goals out of the midfield with seven disposals. And he's getting played on by the 2019 Brownlow medalist, Nat Fife. Two-time Brownlow medalist, Nat Fife. And he's absolutely putting on a clinic here at Optus Stadium. Just single-handedly bring us back in this game. We were down going to this quarter, and just like that, we've kicked a five goal quarter to their one. We actually smashed it out, all led by Buku Kamas. Now, let's see, let's go into the second half. Taylor Dooman, the defender, takes it to Nat Five. We need to get one back after Buku Kamas has kicked three on him. Just like that, it is the end of the third quarter. Uh, it was a very quiet quarter, we only, there was only two points kicked. Uh, Buku Kamas racked up another touch, and I'll check Buku Kamas stats for everyone wondering right now for his uh, fantasy points. So he's kicked three goals too, which is absolutely ridiculous. He's had five scoring shots, three of them goals, two of them points. If he, he could have had five goals right now if he was kicking straight, but either way, Buku Kamas is having a great debut game. You cannot ask for any more out of a debut midfielder than this, and having eight touches is the most on the ground. So, yeah, let's get into the second half. Oh no. Oh no. He got bad the midfield and Andrew Brayshaw can line up from about 30 out. And he kicks a goal to put the margin back down. Buku Kamas has gone down with an injury. You are joking. He just, he's having his best career game and then they kick a goal. Buku Kamas is having his best game ever and he's having an absolute stunner and then that happens. Smith from 50 sends it to Hugo Hagen when you need a goal this is who you give the ball to. It's a two point game and this can bring it back out to a eight point game. Hugo Hagen from straight in front and we get an eight point lead. Lipinski, McLean, McLean can kick it. Long and deep, Hugo Hagen! This is for back-to-back -back goals. One young side goes down with an injury. Another one pops up for a couple snags. Hugo Hagen, from straight in front for two and a minute. Hugo Hagen. And we win the game. A Buku Kamas debut actually set up this game. But sadly, Buku Kamas went down with an injury. In the last quarter, I actually could not believe it, but when he went down, Hugo Hagen kicks two back-to-back -back snags to win us the game. So, Buku Kamas and Hugo Hagen. Buku Kamas got player of the match in his first ever game of AFL football. Congratulations, Buku Kamas. Hopefully, you're not injured for the next game because he's definitely in the team next week after that great performance. Uh, so yeah, that's about it guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video, comment down below because I listen to every comment, uh, reply to every single comment. I like the video so we get so this video gets shared around to more people and it gets shared around to you even more. And subscribe and turn post notifications so you know when I upload. And that's been it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.